Hi, and welcome to the DE Physical Education Flip Learning videos. The impact of physical activity and sport on the health of an individual. Heart disease. Heart disease is more commonly referred to as a coronary heart disease, CHD, and is the leading cause of deaths in the world. Coronary heart disease occurs when your coronary arteries, which supply the heart muscle with oxygenated blood, become blocked and start to narrow by gradual buildup of fatty deposits. This process is called atherosclerosis, and the fatty deposits are referred to as atheroma. The causes of atherosclerosis High blood pressure High levels of cholesterol Lack of exercise And smoking Later stages of atherosclerosis As the coronary arteries become narrow, they are unable to deliver enough oxygen to the heart, pain and discomfort then occurs. The pain is called angina. If a piece of atheroma breaks off in the coronary artery, it can cause a blood clot, which will result in a blockage forming. This can cut off a supply of oxygenated blood to the heart muscle, resulting in a heart attack. As you can see from this diagram, there is a buildup of plaque and it ruptures and forms a blood clot, or blocks the flow completely. This then creates a scar from the heart tissue that dies when it does not get enough blood. This can cause strokes or other diseases. Key terms you should know. Atherosclerosis occurs when arteries harden and narrow as they become clogged up with fatty deposits. Atheroma, a fatty deposit found in the inner linings of an artery. Angina, chest pain that occurs when blood supply through the coronary arteries to the muscles of the heart is restricted. Ways to reduce atherosclerosis. As the heart is a muscle, exercise helps it to stay in shape. Regular exercise keeps the heart healthy and more efficient. It can pump more blood around the body as exercise makes the heart bigger and stronger, resulting in an increase in stroke volume. Additionally, regular exercise can also increase the flexibility of the blood vessels, ensuring good blood flow, normal blood pressure and low cholesterol. 150 minutes per week of moderate exercise is recommended. High blood pressure. Blood pressure is the force exerted by the blood against the blood vessel walls. The pressure comes from the heart as the blood pumps around the body. High blood pressure puts extra strain on the arteries in the heart. If left untreated, high blood pressure can cause an increase in heart attack, heart failure, kidney disease, strokes or dementia. Regular aerobic exercise can reduce blood pressure. It lowers both systolic and diastolic pressure by up to 5 to 10 millimetres of mercury, which reduces the risk of heart attack by 20%. Key terms you should know. Stroke. A stroke occurs when the blood supply to the brain is cut off. Steady state, where the athlete is able to maintain the oxygen demand with the oxygen supply. Cholesterol levels. There are two types of cholesterol, LDL and HDL. Lower density lipoproteins that transport cholesterol in the blood to the tissues are classed as bad cholesterol, since they are linked to an increase in heart disease. High density lipoproteins that transport excess cholesterol in the blood back to the liver where it is broken down. These are classed as good cholesterol, since they lower the risk of developing heart disease. Regular physical activity lowers bad LDL cholesterol levels. At the same time, it significantly increases good HDL cholesterol levels. Strokes. The brain needs a constant supply of oxygenated blood and nutrients to maintain its functions. The energy to work all the time is provided by oxygen delivered to the brain in the blood. A stroke occurs when the blood supply to the part of the brain is cut off, causing damage to the brain cells, so they start to die. This can lead to brain injury, disability, and sometimes death. There are two types of stroke. Ischemic strokes are most commonly found and occur when the blood clot stops blood supply. Hemorrhagic strokes occur when a weakened blood vessel supplies the brain bursts. Hemorrhagic strokes occur when a weakened blood vessel supplying the brain bursts. A lower blood pressure and a healthy weight can reduce risk of stroke by up to 27%. Cardiovascular drift. During a steady state, heart rate should remain the same. However, during exercise, heart rate slowly climbs. This is referred to as cardiovascular drift. Cardiovascular drift is categorized by a progressive decrease in the stroke volume and arterial blood pressure, together with a progressive rise in heart rate. It occurs during prolonged exercise, despite the intensity of the exercise remaining the same. It is suggested that when this occurs, that we sweat. A portion of the sweat comes from the plasma volume. This decrease in plasma volume will reduce venous return and stroke volume. Remember Startling's Law. 
Heart rate will increase to compensate this and maintain a higher cardiac output in an attempt to create more energy to cool the body down. To minimize the cardiovascular drift, it's important to maintain high fluid consumption before and during exercise. Cardiovascular drift breakdown. The cardiovascular drift occurs after a period of exercise. The heart rate increases, the stroke volume decreases. Because of this, fluid lost as sweat, resulting in a reduced plasma volume, reducing the venous return. Cardiac output is also increased due to the more energy needed to cool the body.